Hello everyone, I'm going to try and describe uh, the, a new tool I developed in uh, HumanPixel which uh, will help us build forms in a semantic compliant way and uh, based on RDF and ontologies pulled from schema.org so when you open on this URL uh, tools slash VIE uh, it opens up this screen and uh, you'll see here an ontology drop down the ontologies this lists all the ontologies from schema.org uh, using the VIE GS uh, library um, so what I'm going to try and show you is how to build a form um, describing places uh, which respects all the fields coming from uh, the places ontology but mixing different uh, different definitions so here I'll click on place to start off here at the top is a schema a JSON dash schema from JSON dash schema dot org description of all the values going into my form and here is the end output of JSON LD. So I'm trying to describe places. Let's say we'll talk about uh, concert, uh, uh, event um, locations like a, a concert hall or something. So um, in a, uh, this place will have a name. So I'll scroll down. I'll scroll down and. Um, uh, add a name. You'll see here on the right side in both situations you'll see the place, the name, and up here you'll see also an entry with a type text uh, as a name. Um, to this name I will also add an address. Um, the address is a postal address so I can open this up and you'll have all the details of a postal address so I'll keep the location, which is the city name, the postal code, the street address, maybe the email, um, let's say the telephone, and you'll see here's the output coming out of what I'm, well, my end location. I could have a URL, so for the end location, or let's put that URL on the on the high on the place itself. So you can notice here that the name and the URL of the place and then the address both have type uh, tags and uh, this builds a JSON LD feature. Um, and here you saw that that built um, a definition of what my form will look like. And this is what will generate my form which if I scroll down to the end I click on show the form there you go so that's it and you see the some names have been translated because we have the whole translation but others haven't but uh, you end up with the form with all your content and uh, that's ready to go into database respecting and compliant to the schema.org and different web semantic uh, definitions.